Hello everyone, welcome back to the OptiShot Academy. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. All right, so we are talking about everybody's favorite subject, the driver, and most importantly, we want to find out how fast you can get that club head speed moving. The faster you swing it, the more it's going to help you move the ball on the golf course, give you more chances with your wedge, score the ball lower. Having said that, this week we're going to talk tempo. We've done this with the wedges, we've mm -hmm. done it with the irons. Let's see what happens with the driver. And then we'll find out at what tempo do you have to swing to get your fastest club head speed and then most efficient outcomes, yeah? This is a fun one to experiment with. Okay. Definitely one of my favorites. Very good. So remember, remind everybody like why is tempo important and how could they train at it and how is it going to help them when they're out there? So what you're going to do with your driver today is you're going to run a couple experiments and you're going to play around with swinging the weight at different speeds. So some of you like to maybe use percentages to kind of gauge how fast you're swinging the weight. Others like to use a speedometer on a car. You have to pick out what works best for you. So for me, I like to use the speedometer on my car and my scale goes from zero to 100 miles per hour. So what I'm gonna experiment with is swinging at different speeds. So I'm gonna play around with maybe 100 miles per hour, 90, 80, 70. And I'm gonna see which tempo I commit to allows me to hit the ball the farthest. Okay. So to play around with this, where would you start? What tempo would you, or you know, what speed would you like to go on the speedometer there? Well, I like to maybe warm up just a little bit. So let's start on the slow side. So maybe 50% tempo. All right, so show us what that would look like before we get a ball in the way. So you say that's about half of your total speed. Is that true? That is, and I think for the people at home, you get to interpret this any way you want. So just remember, there's no correct answer to 50 miles per hour. So everyone's experience is gonna be a little bit different. So for me, just like you had stated, it feels like it's about half of my uh, full speed that I'm capable of. Very good. So show us what that would look like with a golf ball in the sure. way. Okay, so in your mind, how much did you commit to that 50 mile an hour speed that you were talking about. I thought my commitment there was pretty good. So I felt the weight moving back and forth, felt like it was about half my normal speed. It was a nice warm up swing. I got the uh, kinks out of the back, you know, feeling like maybe I could ramp it up on my next swing. Got it, got it. So at home, play around with this uh, half speed and see if you can check in with your commitment. Are you actually swinging half in your mind? And then we'll see what happens. So having said that, what speed would you like to move to next? Uh, let's try 75. So you're going to go a little bit faster, little 25 bit faster, yeah. miles an hour faster. Let's see what happens. Interesting. It went a little straighter that time. That was different, yeah? That was a lot different, yeah. All right, very good. Have you ever played around with going down to the very, very slow ranges to the, the miles per hour to see if you can feel the tempo and really connect with the speed of the motion versus trying to hit at the ball, back to the Like one, 10 two. to 20, is that what you're thinking? Yeah. I can definitely do that as well. Let's see what that would look like. Very good. Pure. So for those of you at home, we definitely encourage you to move up and down this speedometer in Ben's case, maybe percentage in your case, uh, but play around with the different tempos and you're gonna find out that you can actually gain control of the swinging motion some are going to go slower, some are going to go faster, but you're going to find what tempo works best for you. Having said that, have you ever just tried to swing as fast as you possibly can? I love speed, like McQueen speed. Lightning McQueen. <laughs> love so, that guy. 100% here. Lightning McQueen action. Let's see what happens. Perfect. So it's a even lot in of the people, fairway. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. Well, you got it out there past 250. Ooh, there's a 300 measure. Yes. Okay, so a lot of people come to see us at the academy, and uh, the, the mindset is that speed is bad. A lot of people would believe that they have to swing slow to make it work good. And in a lot of cases, we find that people actually hit it better when they go faster. So we want you to run these activities this week, find out what works, and you could be surprised that you have speed in the tank that you didn't even know existed. So you actually have a fifth gear that you might not have been accessing. Chad, quick question. Have you ever seen it where the slower swing is actually faster? So do we have to assume that 100% is going to be the fastest swing? Or are people at home going to be a little bit surprised when they're swinging at 80% and it maybe goes farther? I'm glad you brought that up. Everybody has their own unique tempo. Everybody has the speed that they have the most efficient swinging motion. 
you have to find yours. So in some cases, we've seen you know 60 or 80 percent go farther than the faster ones. That is true. In other cases, we've seen when people light up the you know the top speed that it actually works better. So you're going to have to run the experiment. You're going to have to do your own homework on this tempo thing to find out which one increases your ball speed and club head speed the most. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So keep up your training this week. We're talking tempo with your driver. Run the experiments. Have fun doing it. And we'll look forward to seeing you the next time at the OptiShot Academy.